And it's Friday night, and it's time for Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So make sure your stream is set to 60 frames a second, or else you'll miss half the games. Let me just make sure... No, oh, we're not quite loud enough. Check, 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 check. Might have to turn that up later. Anyway. Or bring the mic closer. Still adjusting to the new setup, but... I have fixed something so it'll never echo again. Oh, good. Our voices will not come through the speakers, ever. So that's what was causing the echo? Um, yes, mm -hmm. because they could hear the repeat of our voices back through the speakers and into the microphone. Was it just the speakers attached to your computer? Or? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yeah, because that's when I was trying to hear sounds out of the computer at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So welcome to the show, everyone. Um, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Mm -hmm. And we've got three games tonight for you. Let me just get to my script here, or my notes. It's not really a script. Um, so we've got uh, Thrust Platinum mm -hmm. uh, by Thomas Yentz, Alien Pinball by Ed Riley, a.k.a. Wink Dot, uh, Sync by Simone Sarah, I A K Simo. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, they're very different games. Okay. And the pinball game we have tonight, I was just looking over because I I I type it in the chat there mm -hmm. and I said, I think this is the only homebrew pinball ever mm -hmm. made. And I looked up on uh, Arena Foot's list as master list of homebrew games and it is actually the only pinball homebrew ever made were there many pinball games made for the atari and i looked that up as well yeah and there were three pinball games ever made for the atari wow okay one was i believe it's called video pinball mm -hmm. and it was uh, not great physics and not much to do um then there was one called uh, midnight magic which was very good and it was put out in the Commodore 64 as well. Ah! And, and other systems. I was going to mention one of my favorite games on the Commodore 64 was a pinball game. And ah. it, I think it was Midnight Mag Magic. And I was thinking to myself, what was the name of that game? Yeah. And when you mentioned it, I think that, that's what that it was. Yeah. And, um, you know, it was probably on a disc with a piece of masking tape with pinball written across the top. And uh, <laughs> uh, But, uh, yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And cool. there was one that I've never heard of, but I, when I looked it up, it's called Bumper Bash. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the physics are a little wonky, but it doesn't look too bad. Mm. Yeah, so there weren't very many pinball games, but pinball's really popular. So I was really surprised well, that we're playing the only homebrew pinball ever made there's a the i mean it's not a super simple thing no. for uh some of the older systems to emulate because it can oh. be a little complex the there's there's a lot of things you can bounce off of and there's expectations yes of angles and way th and movement uh, the yeah. way it hits things yeah um yeah. but midnight midnight magic did it decades ago so yeah. there's no reason it can't be done yeah the same today with a different board yeah. Different layout, different, um, mm -hmm. oh, and Bumper Bash, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spoiler, Ground Trooper says. Mm -hmm. So I want to say hello to everyone in the chat. Let me just bring this a little closer. Yeah, in the middle, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. oh, you guys can't see it. Mm -hmm. um, Ground Trooper, Mr. Fix, uh, Splendid Nut. Ooh, actually, I can't scroll back very easily on this, can I? Well, you just nah. have to... It's like over here. Yeah. You can probably click up and down. RC, uh, Muddy Funster. No, that's terrible. That is a terrible way. Let me see if I have it here. Uh, yeah, Muddy Funster, RC, Mr. Fix. Uh, you can you can scroll up and down. Ground Trooper, up and down. Yeah, oh, you just have uh, to be clicked into the middle screen. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I think I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah. welcome to the show, everybody out there watching, maybe not typing, <laughs> and hello from hello to Burning Burning ha Birmingham. I want to say Burning UK? Man or something. Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> UK, not Alabama. Yeah. I, I I never think of Alabama. I didn't know there was a Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah. But, but I do I know Birmingham, UK. UK as well. Yeah. So, because yeah. we're both very familiar with British places. Yeah. I don't know. I seem to watch a lot of. British YouTube channels for some reason yeah. and I grew up watching British shows 
because our parents are British. Yeah. Your mother Separate is. Parents. Yeah, your mother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> your mother is, and and my yes. mother grew up in Britain. My dad was born there too. So so yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for tuning in from the yes. UK. Yes, um, yeah. and I want to thank the Twitch subscribers um, who donate their uh, Amazon Prime each month mm -hmm. or money. Don't know. Uh, Charles in chat, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I supposed to Jeffrey twenty one twenty three, Johnny WC twenty three, Mister Fix. Muddy Funster, both of who are watching, mm -hmm. and RC7E, who's also watching, uh, Shazam1970, Tiki Dan K, Train Tech 86 And you can subscribe for free as well and support us. Mm -hmm. If you have Amazon Prime, link to Twitch Prime and just click subscribe. Yes. And I do have a poll question tonight, and I will explain what it means later, but I'm going to start mm -hmm. the poll right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll put it... Uh, how, how can you start the poll and then explain it later? Because won't people... No, they <laughs> they will understand. They'll be able to answer it. Okay. But, I'm, but I'll give a more elaborate explanation of okay. why I brought okay, it okay, up. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I was going <laughs> to say, if you don't explain it, then aren't you just voting for random numbers? Uh, uh, yeah, you kind of are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. there we go. There we go. Yeah. So the poll is, how do you normally play your homebrew games? Um... I never but like the choices are pretty broad. You could be a mix of this, so just pick which one's most appropriate. I never buy games on cartridge and only play them on ROMs, either mm -hmm. through emulator or on um, you know Harmony Cart or something like that. Or I buy games. This is choice two. I buy games, but only the basic cart, like just just the cartridge itself, not the elaborate boxes and everything. Um, number three, I buy games, but with the box and all the extras. All, like, they're a little bit more expensive. Some people don't want to... Some people just want the game on cartridge, and that's good enough. Um, and the fourth one is I buy pirated carts for a discount from shady people. <laughs> don't do that, but you might. <laughs> and I am going to vote three, because usually I buy... I buy it with the box... And I thought you picked the shady one. Um, I would that's pick four. the shady one. No, because it's number oh, four. Thought I thought I it did. was the last one. No, no, no. I four is the last one. With the box. No, I don't buy it from shady nice. people. Yeah. That's terrible. You do buy a lot off Craigslist, yeah. though. No. But not not homebrew. Not homebrew. Not homebrew. homebrew. Nobody yeah. has homebrew. I'm just. Here. I'm. I'm joking. I'm yeah. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> they're not shady. They're all very nice no, people. That's Craigslist. Met. So you know. <laughs> I've only met one really weird person from Craigslist. Yeah. You remember her? Oh, yeah, but that wasn't related to games. No, it wasn't. No, she, no. They bought something else off of me. Yeah, but yeah. She that person was, was very strange. Very and shady. kept coming back. Yeah. And wanting me to fix the thing she bought when it wasn't broken when I sold it to her. Terrible. It was yeah. terrible. But yeah. that was one out of probably 50 people that I've yeah. met on yeah. Craigslist. Yeah. And they've all been oh, totally yeah. normal Just people. Just normal people. Yeah. Selling stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, true. So, yeah, people are voting. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so, oh my god. Sorry. Noises. Can we mute? Yes, we can. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Um, so let's get into the mail, the news, and the feedback. So the Atari Awards are coming up. So what's happening right now is the nominations are, are happening. Mm -hmm. So we're whittling down all the hundreds of games into just a short list so everybody doesn't have to play hundreds of games. Um, these are just the top games, and everybody will be able to vote on them on January 23rd. And that is actually a broadcast day. And I don't know if I did that on purpose, mm -hmm. but it is. And we'll be announcing the nominations, who's been nominated, live on the show. Excellent. And then opening up the voting right after that. So we'll go through all 10 award categories mm -hmm. and list off all the nominees. Cool. And then you guys will be able to click vote on the ones you like the most in each of the categories. So that'll be really, really exciting. Do I get to vote? No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm exempt. You don't have... I'm in the fine print. No, as, you're not. As... Oh, Because well, I, I, guess... I know you don't have an Atari age login, so. Well, I could create one. You could. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you'd also have to know all these games. You've know some know of them. some of them. That's I might true. know more than, than the average person for it to, to be. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. yeah, you have to, you know, you should, you should have an educated I was just, vote, I was just, right? yeah, you should, yeah, yeah, yeah you should. And um, I was going to say, I, I, do I fall in that fine print of, you know, spouses of the... No, you know? <laughs> everybody's eligible. Okay. There's going to be so many people, it doesn't matter. Yeah, fair and, enough. And there's no 
Nobody's gaining off of this. No, I know. That's true. Maybe the winners will sell a couple extra copies. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. not, we have no nothing to gain. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not rigged because the public's voting. Yeah. We're not doing this internally. No. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I already talked about the echo, canceling the echo out, mm -hmm. which is good. Mm -hmm. um, that makes it a lot easier. Um, unboxing. We have a box here. Yay! And it, I know it is video game related. Oh, this is the driving controller for the first game that we'll be playing. Oh, I don't have a knife or anything, but this is the easy rip tape. Medium rip tape. <laughs> Sometimes they put sort really, of rip tape. really easy. Sometimes not so much. Yeah. No, this is this. You can see the, the threads in it. Yeah, this one's do pretty Do a pen thick or threads. something you can just... Mm, I, think, I think I do have a pen. Yeah. Just slice the... Always a little wary using a pen because you can accidentally draw draw on the thing. This is not great. And it's retracting. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh well. A there bit. you go. And it's air balloons. Yay! Yay. And. So this is something that Ooh. I was hesitating to buy yes. in the beginning yes. when I first saw it. You got but that. I also did want to buy it yeah. because it's the nostalgia factor and the convenience factor of it. Anyway, I'm going to show you everyone. Yay. <laughs> and Tanya's excited too. I'm very excited. This is the C64 Mini. Yay. It's not a very exciting unboxing because it's been out for a very long time. And I'm sure you've seen, seen and know all about it, um, especially if you are a fan of the c64 mini of the c64 yeah um so both of us had this system growing yes. up absolutely yes i don't think i need to keep this bag um so it was my computer from like the mid 80s until i mm -hmm. till literally i got a pc a 386 that there was nothing in between there was no other systems there's no Atari computer. There was no so anything so else. There's no early PC. Either. What is interesting is I have the exact same story. <laughs> yes. Which is we had a Commodore 64. My dad loved it. We had it for a very very long time. It was the only computer we had. And I also replaced mine with a 386 when I went to university. Ah. But when did you get your 386? Well, yes, I'm a couple years older. No, um, but when? What year did you get your 386? Oh, uh, it was. In grade 11. Okay. So that would be 89. Yeah. I'd say around 89. Yeah. 88 to 89, probably. So I got a 386, which was a cast off from my dad's work. Yeah. In 1996. And he gave oh, it to me painful. so that I would have a computer oh. in university. But I only had it for one year. Yeah. So it really That's was just a computer to type stuff up on and do use for spreadsheets and but that's that was my computer in 1996 and then the next 96. year the next year I got a new computer and a PC and it was much 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 better but I had I needed something you know to do my pine email on and uh, through think, think, through the University of Toronto and uh, I think I had a Pentium 75 laptop in 1995 Yeah you probably did Yeah you probably did 94. My computer was <laughs> ancient oh my school. god that's painful it, it was painful but then i i got a new one the next year but it was a crazy oh splendid that built his own 486 in 1996 oh, yeah good stuff. i was not so sophisticated <laughs> with the computers but it literally was a spare computer from his work that they were getting rid of so right. he's like here just take it with you it's free and i had it for a year but it was a, a painful computer to use in in that era so so the reason yeah. I got this finally um, is because there's been a lot of updates yeah. to when it originally came out, like firmware updates, so that it uh, operates a lot better. And now it also, the newest one, comes with a homebrew game that I actually bought. I don't know where it is right now. Um, somewhere. It is uh, Galencia, which mm. is Galaga, the closest you can get to Galaga on the, on the C64. Mm. So it comes free with an updated version of Galencia. 
um, and it'll just be like a lot of uh, an easy way to access. I mean, I've got my Commodore 64 yeah. over there, yeah. my original one yeah. from the mid 80s. With, with your disk drive. Original disk drive, yeah. an original breadboard, bread box version. Yeah, it looks yeah. exactly like the one on the cover. Yeah. That color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the C version. But that is pretty darn cute, that computer. That oh, this little mini guy. And super I'm cute. pretty excited about it. Yeah. So yeah. this will be fun to play with. Yeah. And I believe it has Impossible Mission as well, which is your <gasps> favorite game. It has number two, at least. Oh, I, I played one and two. There it is. Number one. Yeah. So it has that on here. Oh, and my I goodness. And I believe it saves as well. So if you want to stop in the middle of the game oh and so continue. you can never do that you basically had to it so that's was kind of cheating then. a long hard run playing impossible mission you had to go right to the end so hi arena foot you didn't miss too much no nope. just hey. missed the unboxing of Woo. this are you going to take it out of that box or no uh not right now because okay. i want to do it night people can watch online a thousand of these <laughs> being unboxed i'm not going to bore you with that it has nothing to do with the atari but yeah um didn't you just order that i swear you just mentioned it like a day ago when it arrived it was so. very fast i got it was off ebay actually fast oh, okay yeah yeah which usually is not that fast yeah i i was thinking did i buy this on amazon it came so quick mm -hmm. it was ebay and i it was a canadian seller that's why mm. it, they didn't have to go very far it was in the east though um so yeah we did a poll uh arena foot how do you normally play your homebrew games Choice number one is you buy them on cart. Uh, you don't buy them on cart. You never do, and you play only ROMs, uh, which I know you, that's not you, because you do buy them. Um, the second choice is I buy games, but only the basic cartridge. Just the cartridge, no mm -hmm. box, no extras usually. Mm -hmm. Number three is I buy games with the box and all the extras, which probably Arena Foot will fall under because I know he goes for mm -hmm. a lot of the extra stuff a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Or four, uh, I'm a dirty, dirty pirate, <laughs> and I buy pirated carts for a discount from shady people. <laughs> and I hope none of you pick four. No one's going I'll to admit honest. to it, though. No, That's they wouldn't. Said, It'll yeah. be zero. <laughs> It'll be a big fat zero. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't put the yeah. poll on the screen. So, Muddy, Muddy Funster. No, you did. No, I, like on the screen screen. Oh, that screen. Yeah, yeah. Muddy Funster is saying that he thinks the North American version has there different games on it compared to the European C64 Mini. They do, and actually. And Mr. Fix agreed that, yes, they do. They yeah, are different. Because different games were released in different regions. Mm. And, like, the games the games in Europe, um, usually were in the UK and, and Europe, were usually released on cassettes. Yeah, we were talking. And we yeah. got mostly on discs here mm -hmm. so some game companies didn't release one or the other so there yeah. was very little cross there was some That's crossover yeah but they got a completely different set of games and plus in the uk i don't know about germany it was really big in germany but in the uk because i it's english and i i know all the i watch mm. youtube channels with all the british <laughs> uh commodore 64 youtube streams yeah it's very yeah. funny um but there's like very british games yeah yeah with yeah. british titles that yeah. just wouldn't work here it just doesn't make any sense here yeah yeah so yeah. there's a lot of differences between the between game the releases so well, what po was popular there may not be popular here it's kind of neat that you could buy two versions and get different games you that's know true. you could get both of them and um, you could i don't know if there's a way to import some of those games on it but it's probably comes yes. with the set games so. i believe you can load whatever you want on oh see now. that's that's nice and that's yeah. kind of why so you I... could add those extra games if you wanted to try some of the ones you haven't yeah you haven't played so, and that's why that's I cool. didn't buy it immediately because I didn't know if it would be hackable yeah. to put all the games you want on it. But yeah. it's totally good. I just, just yeah, it looks awesome. I'm it's so super excited. cute. It's super cute. Exactly. It doesn't have the yeah. symbols underneath the keys. That's the only thing that's really messing. Oh yeah. Because it's only top stamped. Yes. Not, not, not with, not all, with, all, the with all the funny little um, graphics graphic that yeah, you could actually stamps. make games with. Yeah. So such a variety of them. Yeah. That you totally make exactly games with. Exactly what you're talking. And about, early yeah. games did. You were made. They were made in basic. Yeah. With the symbols. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, was. Yeah. It was really smart of them to do that. Yeah. I mean, it was. They. Those were part of called pet ASCII. So they existed long before the Commodore sixty four. Okay. Those symbols. Mm. Um, yes, they caught me buying carts from this guy with an old beat up card table. <gasps> Mister <laughs> Fix, how dare you? Support the artists. Um, <laughs> anyway, why I put this poll up is because there was a discussion on the Atari Age forums. I'm not going to tell, say where it is or because I don't want to. It's not about the drama. 
uh, that happened on the Atari Age boards. Okay. I'm more interested in the discussion around the drama, not the drama itself. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued now when you course. mention drama on Atari Age of boards. Of course, yes. <laughs> Um, but somebody pointed me in the direction of the drama, so I read all the way through okay, it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is an interesting discussion. Okay. Not the drama part, but the discussion okay. part. Yeah, yeah. You've emphasized that you're yes. not interested in the, in the drama. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the question and the debate um, in the forums was how the ROMs affect the sales of cartridges. Yes. And also, in that mix as well, I mean, because some homebrew developers release the ROMs yeah. through the development stages. Some stop at a certain point yeah. and go, okay, I have enough public so, input. So they'll have the finished version that will be the final. On the cartridge. On the cartridge. Or some of them release right up to the full game. Yeah. And then put it on cartridge or maybe never put it on cartridge yeah. as well. Yeah. They just, like, here's the ROM. I had fun yeah. making it. Everybody can play it. Yeah. Um, but... Some terrible people out there take these ROMs, either the mm -hmm. nearly finished or finished ones, and put them on cartridge and sell them. Yeah. With zero dollars going through to the developers. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes not even put their names of the developers on the cartridge. Yeah, that's and bad. They, they make up a new cover or yeah. just steal the cover and, and just sell it. And they get 100% of the profit, don't ask permission. Mm -hmm. But that that's that was, that's besides the point. That's That'll happen... Piracy will happen no matter what, mm -hmm. in whatever form, even if they never release the ROM and put it on cartridge, there's ways to re read the ROM. Because yeah. every single Atari 2600 game from the original era has been archived. Like, you can play them all on emulator. So it's very difficult to protect the information anyway. It's it's a little bit harder with all the bank switching schemes they have out there and and it's it makes it a little bit harder mm -hmm. with like the the extra arm processor and the way it accesses information that way but it's not impossible yeah yeah but it's i tough. was yeah. i was more interested in should you release the rom ever mm. <laughs> what point should you maybe stop releasing the rom yeah should you release the full rom because some people were saying i never buy cartridges i just don't like the clutter yeah and i would pay for just the ROM. And that is something I don't think almost never happens in the 2600 realm of yeah. homebrew. I've never seen anybody selling just the ROM. I think I've maybe seen donations here and there where they post it. You can download it for free or you can, you know, send a little donation as well. Mm -hmm. um, release the manuals. It helps when I write my books. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, that's besides the point. Um, Mm -hmm. uh yeah so what do you guys think it does releasing the rom the final roms for free hurt cartridge sales is per personally i can only speak from experience i don't care what form you put it in whether it's a final rom posted or not a final rom if i like the game i will buy it i have a huge shelf mm -hmm. of homebrew games up here and i think there's a lot of value in the extras that you get, you mm -hmm. get a cartridge, you get a nice manual, get a beautiful box, you yeah. sometimes get posters in it. I mean, Atari Age does a great job. A lot of the other um, distributors do a great job as well, putting these packages together. I think it's... Binary file, yes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. binary <laughs> file. The ROM. I yeah. guess you could... Oh, it's read-only memory. Uh, I guess yeah. that's not really accurate. Yeah. It's not a, a thing that it's read-only. It's just a file. Yeah. I, I mean, that's interesting because um, I, I, I almost feel like saying you need a homebrew developer legal fund. So if you're <laughs> releasing your ROMs on whatever site, you put a little money in. And then if you have to go and attack someone for selling your game, oh. you can you can see if you can actually get something from them. Now, I, that's I, that's hard to do, the, the problem but it's with, a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. At, and at the end of the day... Um, these people who are pirating it and releasing it as cartridges or trying to make money off your hard work, they probably know that most people in the community won't go after them. They won't. And that's always the problem, right? Like, it's, they, it's, it's most, always difficult. Yeah. But I, I, yeah, I mean, another side of this, and I guess I'm getting a little bit off topic, is 
Uh, it's like, you know, we have a PS4 and you can download games on the PS4 or you can buy them. One thing that's always irked me is there's no discount in, if you're downloading a game. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're getting less, if you're downloading a game, it should be cheaper, but they charge the same. And I m't mm -hmm. You don't feel really like, get much more with the box nowadays. You, yeah. get, you don't even get a manual. You get a cover well, and No, a but you get now. something physical. Yes. And, and, you know, the issue that I have is I feel like... The electronic copy, there are advantages. You don't have something physical. I mean, you love the physical copies of things. Yes. You enjoy it. You enjoy the art. And I think that's that's added value. Yeah. But um, there are people who don't want to put the extra money into that. And they just want to play the game. They and, don't want the clutter. And offering it a little bit less in an, as a ROM or as a digital download or whatever whatever yeah. format, I think is, is beneficial to the person who's buying and playing that game. Mm. And... Um, so I think it should be cheaper, and I think it should be locked down in some way, so that it's not as easy. It's not as easy to pirate it. But I, I, I totally impossible. understand what you're saying. With with the um, twenty six hundred games, it's next to impossible. There was a little bit of discussion in that forum. Yeah. About putting some sort of like digital, digital DRM or whatever DRM, you call it. Yeah. 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 On, on the cartridge or something, and it was just. Yeah, it's. It tough. was more trouble than it's worth and there's always a way to copy it because yeah. at some point the actual atari needs to read well not not true because <laughs> there's arm processors now on some games and that does all the processing in the cartridge yeah but old games everything needed to go to the um the Atari 2600. So there was always a way to read every single thing. Yeah. yeah. Or you can just say, I want this, I want this, I want yeah. this, I want this. Yeah. 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 Um, Arena mm -hmm. Foot says, I love to have, I, I have to love the game to buy it. Well, of course. Yeah. I'll play it. Well, that, that's not of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if you have no way to see the game or even try the game, how do you know you're going to love it? Well, they can put out demos. Yeah. Yes. Or you show them what it looks like on this on the yep. stream. Yeah, <laughs> or the stream. Yeah, there, you know, this you is an outlet. You see how the game looks, and it's like, yep. oh, that looks interesting. But how am I going to get the game if there is no demo to play? No, I mean, yeah. I, I have a lot of ins. With, no, and I some know, people will offer you op you know, a, a, a version for you to play. I mean, I know all the developer, almost all the developer, yeah. the big developers yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the 2600. Not so all I, of them, but you know some of them. I know most sure. of them. Yeah. Um, so I have an in, yeah. so that makes it easy for me. But yeah. in le if they're not watching the show... How are they going to know whether this game is good yeah. without that feedback? Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. They have it's to wait. tough. Yeah. And I think it's not just, as you say, Atari Homebrew, but this is an issue with software in general and 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 programs and yeah. and piracy and and that's it's tough, you know. It's it's always there. It always has been. Yeah. There. Yeah. Um, Renifat mm -hmm. says, "I'll play the early or demo ROM to find out, and then oh, that's not a good way to do it, mm -hmm. and then decide." Mm -hmm. Uh, more programmers need to do a separate demo ROM if they are worried about. Oh my God, pirates! See Daryl Spice Jr. Stay Frosty Two demo ROM and if, and the final version card. And I have seen that from time to time on some yeah. of the big releases. Mm -hmm. They'll do here's levels one through seven. Yeah. Um, or yeah, just most show, mostly just release a level too. Yeah. You know, so enough, you want more? Then go and go and yeah. Enough that you can figure it out. It's yeah. tough though. It's tough, and it's not like you're a huge company and 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 no. you have a legal team behind you. It's it's. That's what I was going to mention too. It's <sighs> yeah. These developers are not making a living off of these no, games. No, not uh, even yeah. close, and yeah. definitely not enough to hire a lawyer. Because well, that's are they going to get any money back? Are they going to get more money back than they spend on a lawyer? No, probably they're not. not. These no. games at best sell in the hundreds, yeah. but maybe thousands for the very, very biggest game. Like I say, low thousands. Like I say, with a legal fund, sometimes it's the same person who's pirating all these things, and they're pirating from various developers. Yeah, that's when it's worth going after someone if they're constantly doing it. And affecting multiple people, right? But I'm not sh saying that's an easy thing to do, or that no. that people should do it. But but sometimes it's a repeat offender, and they get away with it. Right. So because it's, it's not just for one game, it would be for a whole bunch of games. They're probably not doing it just for one game. Yeah. You know, they're trying to make money off of off of stealing people's work and art and and reselling it. So, yeah. but it's just not it's not easy. You know, no, it's, it's just not. not easy to and... to resolve and. Uh, no. And it's it's like the the 
massive advantages we now ha have with digitally downloading games and massive files and software is fabulous, but this is the downside to that, you know? Yeah. It, it's a lot easier to pirate and, uh, you know. It is, but I, I think <sighs> the community of 2600 is really, really good, and that's why yeah. they do put out the ROMs for free, mm -hmm. and because they know people that like these games are still going to buy the cartridge and the box. It's just a really supportive community. Yeah. And it's just a really strange because mix. Because I've looked at some of the other uh, homebrew communities, like mm -hmm. the Coleco or 7800 or 5200, mm -hmm. or Vectrex, and they're a lot more locked down than the 2600. There's not a lot of ROMs flying around. Yeah. Of, of early stuff. It's more like there's a huge barrier to entry to make the games. Yeah. And so that the people making the games are pretty good at making them. And they don't need to put out ROMs for testing and stuff. So you just get nothing. You just get, here's the final version. Mm -hmm. You don't get any trials in between. Mm -hmm. You only get it in a box. So they have less games put out overall. Mm -hmm. But sometimes more finished boxed games. Yeah. So it's it's really interesting. But having ROMs out there and having games out there also attracts more people to the community because it's more accessible to them as well. So you yeah. you do give a little bit up with, you know, with potentially selling your games, but you also may be attracting people who couldn't afford to buy cartridges all the time. So That's it's, right. it's some people don't have the money. So so to buy all this. You know, it's give it's, and take. It is give and take. And and it's, I wouldn't be able to do a show, fully as much as I do in any other homebrew genre yeah than 2600 because of the freedom of these games being mm. um put out for demo it's like oh here's a new version here's a new version there's no way i could fill a whole year of two shows a week yeah <laughs> it's impossible of like three to four games every show mm -hmm. it's i just would not be able to do it in any other homebrew community except yeah. for 2600 mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons i actually did this yeah 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 mr fix says i agree with james that drm is pointless since the hackers will crack any our drm just because it's there sometimes yeah. they, it be becomes a challenge at that point yeah like oh you think i can't crack this i'm going to target you specifically just to show you i can get your game and copy it yeah um, buying games helped to assuage the guilt of how I parted through my 60, yeah. 64 days. Yeah. Well, going, going That's back. That's true. Yeah. I had no money though. I was a kid. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to say I, I was in university during the Napster days and literally Napster happened just as they installed T4 lines all throughout our, our, our dorms. Yeah. And like. Yeah, I, I've done my share of piracy as a, <laughs> as a, basically as a poor student, you know, Yeah. with my, not with a 386, because <laughs> that wouldn't have happened. No. But, um, but, you know, it, it, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. But I, I, I value more, and I know you do a lot, is having the physical copies of things. And even though modern trend is away from the physical things there, I think there's a lot of value added when you have a cartridge when you have, as, as, as some people were saying, they love still buying CDs. Yeah. Um, I, I uh, we still buy the odd, odd DVD and Blu-ray, yes. even though we watch downloads. But if it's if it's a movie we really, really like, yeah, we will works. still buy it because it still feels like you're contributing to... Wow. And also, those you know, just like downloading games, those movies don't live forever on the internet. No, they don't. They go away and yeah. they come back and say, oh, I want to watch this movie today. Is it on any streaming? No. So how am I going to watch it? If yeah, I have the Blu-ray, yeah. I will be able to watch it forever with without having to ask anybody's permission. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I feel about downloading a game, too. Yeah, yeah. If they ever shut down servers, which they, they have do. now, yeah. there have been um, systems yeah. out long enough now that those systems are shut down and you can't download these certain games anymore. And they are gone into the ether. Yeah. These, these digital-only download games are gone forever. Yeah. And that's why I like having um, things on physical media. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's get into the game. Yeah, we got on a very serious subject there yeah. for a second, but interesting. Um, so the first game today right. is going to be Thrust Plus Platinum. Okay. And there's a lot to say about this game okay. because it has gone through many iterations. Okay. Um, but um, we will start playing it. It is by Thomas Yentz and... 
This is Thrust Plus Platinum, which was released in 2003. There were two different versions before this, mm. and that's why it's called Platinum. Um, and it originated as an arcade game called Gravatar. Okay. So we're going to take a look at Gravatar first. Where's my remote control? Ah, where is it? There it is. And we're going to take a look at the arcade version of it so we can see the different iterations. So it goes from arcade and then to the C64, mm -hmm. which this is, game is based off the C64 version. So let's take a look at the poll numbers. So 11%. Uh, never buy games. Mm. Uh, Twenty-two percent buy just the basic carts, and sixty-six percent say they love buying the games and the boxes and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's no dirty pirates. No dirty pirates. That <laughs> want to admit to <laughs> buying terrible pirated carts, um, which is good if you're telling the truth. Uh, probably everybody <laughs> watching this show would not be buying buying it from those. Those types yeah, of people, yeah, yeah, which is really, really, really good that you're supporting the, the people who put a lot of work into this. So this is the uh, arcade version, and I have never seen this. Like a lot of these conversions, these ports of games, are ones that I've never seen before. Uh, okay, which is really interesting. The games themselves you've never seen. The before. arcade games, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. In yeah. an arcade, yeah. That looks vector based. Yeah. It is vector-based, mm. which are some of the hardest to convert. Yeah, well, yeah, they're very unique. So. Yeah. So, here we go. Let's see if we can get some volume. And... Check, check. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's not going to work. Okay. <laughs> What's happening? Well, I was trying to get audio. For them, I'll just turn it up here. Yeah, that should work. Just in the room. Yeah, just in the room. Actually, that'll work really well. So you can see it's vector based. And your little ship. And you're shooting things. Oh, that's really loud. Are you shooting bases off of a planet, or...? Um, let's see what it's the basic gist of this game is for the instructions for the arcade game. So this was put out in 1982 by Atari. Uh, one second. Oh, I love the zoom in. That's something you can do with vector-based yes, graphics, is yeah. the zoom. And that's really cool. So you see the yeah. overworld, and then you get in, and you get, yeah. get in smaller. Um, so 1982, uh, Vector, Color, uh, Gravatar, uh, Atari released 139 different machines, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's not about Gravatar at all. Uh, the player, <laughs> <laughs> the player controls a spaceship in three different solar systems. Each solar system consists of a home base, a Death Star, a red alien Death planet, Star. and four regular planets. Mm. Each planet has its own unique terrain. And I know you have to collect something and then blast off into space. Uh, collect the, the, the blue boxes, yes. from what I can tell. Yeah. And then you travel to another planet. That's so cool. <laughs> I love it color vector so cool. graphics. Because, I mean, most of the vector graphics that I ever encountered, except for Star Wars, were just black and white, like asteroids and also everything on the Vectrex. Wow. Um, so now... And I know, so let's go on to the C60. Yeah, beauty of a vector game, though, yes. Yes. So let's go on to the C64 version now. So hopefully that worked okay. Let me know if that sound was, like, okay and not weird or anything. And if it synced up, because it should sync up, because we're seeing it and they're hearing it at the same time. So it should have synced up. Because if that is true, that would, is a very good solution for this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at thrust for the C64. C64 
So it was 1986, a couple years later, somebody made a port for the C64. Let me get some info on this. Uh, the Let's see, a game by Firebird, 1986, is based on the arcade machine Gravatar. So this so it looks a little bit different. It's still got that vector look because mm -hmm. everything's outlined oh, and awesome not filled space. in. Yeah. But the ground is made of lines instead of just yes, one line. Yes, instead of the vector, yeah. Yeah, instead of the vector I lines. do like the sprite for the ship, though, because they yeah. kept a bit of that vector kind of... And even, even the... Um, whatever those are. Enemies. Enemies, space yeah. station or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. it's fuel. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. And then you have to get that dot. I think at this one... You, oh, you pull it out. You, you have pull to it out not instead kill of the just dot. Yeah. It. yeah, not break it, I guess. Nice. And I, before you see the 2600 version, okay. I'm, I'm just going to say it's an unbelievable port. This from, looks from so so similar to the C64, gotcha, the, the C64. 2600 version, yeah, yeah, yeah. that pff, almost indistinguishable. <laughs> so good. Thomas Yance did. Uh, RC says, a friend of mine had an insane collection of vector games. He got rid of most of them last year, though. Oh, why? <laughs> people move, people have kids, they need money, they need yeah. room. It's always sad, though. It is. Or they're just done. They're done with it. They got moved on to something else. They never play them anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been playing all these games for so long. Yeah. I just can't. You can't see give them up, eh? <laughs> ever giving them up. We'd yeah. have to buy a new house eventually if we get too much. <sighs> yeah, good too luck many with games. that in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to move somewhere very far away. Yeah. So that's a C64 version. Mm. Um, so a little bit different look, but it keeps the same, the same feel to it, okay. right? So now we're going Let's to, to move on to actual, actually playing games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one, this this game actually is able to use many different inputs. Okay. Um, I think we're going to try it with the driving controller. Okay. Because that seems the most intuitive. Because you're turning. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. You are spinning and you are thrusting with a button. Okay. So. Oh. How do you hit the hit the Yeah. I don't know. Cuz there's more than one button. There's more than one thing to do. Well, we'll find out cuz You I... might need the joystick to thrust back and forth. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know do if that? I don't know if the paddle will work like the the driving controller. Well, we're going to try cuz it says one of you may need the a foot foot pedal though to work with the driving controller. Yeah, so it probably would make more sense. So. I don't have a foot pedal. Yeah. Yawning yeah. already. No, it's it's the wine. <laughs> it's I've already the... used up my wine. I need more. <laughs> need more wine. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with the joystick. Okay. And then we're going to try it with the driving See controller after. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it'll work because I was a little dubious. Like, it's only one button and it's only turning. Yeah. Because you need one, but one thing for the thrust and one thing for shooting. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, so let's go. I think it's already ready. So there you go. It's a little bit shorter. So let's switch over. Thrust to... plus platinum, is that it? Yes, that is correct. Is the bin or... Yeah, it's the bin. Bin, yes. Never zips. Can't open zips. Has yeah. no idea what zips. Figured it's like... Oh, that's a little loud here. go. Ooh. We'll turn on the sound for you guys. Let me know if it's Coming too through? quiet or too loud. Yeah, where's the research? <laughs> we got we got in trouble Ooh. the other day for uh, theoretically not doing enough oh. research. So this particular one is version 1.26. I couldn't find exactly when this version was put out. Um, the first ever version of this was put out in 2000. This is a very, very old game that has gone through a lot of iterations. So that's how you get through it, yeah. That was not easy. <laughs> um, so it can oh be played goodness. using a joystick, a driving controller, Omega Race Boost Grip, which gives you two buttons. Uh, a 2600 <laughs> compatible foot oh pedal goodness. controller. Um, I couldn't see any 
Um, information about using the Coleco driving expansion yes. module, so I'm guessing that is is not compatible, because that would be a really good one. Yeah, where is Thomas? Yeah, he is sleeping. He's in Europe, so... Unfortunately, I don't think he could be here. Maybe he'd have to be up at whatever time it is now, plus eight hours. It'll be four, four or five in the morning, most likely five. So I don't think he was going to get up just for this at five in the morning. Um, other games made by Thomas Jens. <laughs> Star Castle Arcade, Toy Shop Trouble, Boulder Dash, Swoops, Mini Game Collection, Jam, Starfire, The Stacks, a ton of trackball hacks. Ram Pong, Robot City, and Three Dots. Everybody knows all the goodness that Thomas Yance put out. Um, so there are three versions of Thrust put out. Um, three major versions. Uh, the original one um, that uses the CBS Omega Race Booster Grip and the joystick. Uh, that was put out in 2000. Thrust Plus Special Edition that was put out May 23rd, 2002. Thrust Plus Platinum, uh, that was put out in 2003. Now we'll talk more about the special edition in a second because there's a lot of story for that one. Spun and Nuts says, this is what it looks like when I try and play the game. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, I hit that fuel. <laughs> that shouldn't Now I was talking with uh, Thomas today and he said, when I told him that I was going to, we were going to play the game on the show. Yeah. He said, "Cool, be prepared for quite some challenge." And he put a little evil, evil de devil, <laughs> now I devil understand. face. Yes. So it is not an easy game. It is terrible. It's challenging. <laughs> I I think the controls don't make it any easier. But you can see how close it is to the C64 version, right? With all the lines and everything, and the ship and the outlines. It's great. Of course, fuel has been reduced down to F. Oh, but, that's fine. Uh, there you go. Um, and he said, yes, there is, a there is a history. Some points as far as I remember. Yeah, the special edition is the one I really want to get with the foot control ground trooper yeah. says. Yeah, there's only 50 to 100 um, of those made. So good luck getting that. Um, he said, this is my first project for the 2600. This is the first game Thomas ever made. And it is unbelievable that it has multi-screen scrolling in all directions, left, right, up, down, um, screen by screen, not a smooth scrolling. So that's kind of a limitation of the Atari, but really amazing that it moves like that. And it's a great, and you don't even notice it really as you're flying around, the, the shifting of the screen. Oh no, it's great. Uh, which I chose because I was a great fan of the C64 budget original. The physics lock looked and where quite were quite challenging to implement, and the reduced graphics fit perfectly to the 2600 capability. <laughs> Crashing. It's really hard. Yeah? It's really hard. I, I, the controls are what make it really. I was hard. doing some tests for Thomas the other day, and I was able yeah. to make it to the second level. Not too bad after a couple tries. Yeah, you have to kind of practice the. You don't really need the fuel for this level. Oh no? Because it's there. But you had right. to get it. Oh, uh, you don't have to get it. Not for this one. Well, shooting it is counterproductive. Yeah, but like, like being able to float up in the air with the gravity and then shoot at the same time is like impossible. Um, he says, if I remember correctly, this is also the first 16K homebrew ever made. Wow. Uh, the original release was distributed by Hoser. Uh, then I got asked by ja ja Jawfish. Jawfish. For a collector's edition, Thrust Combat Pack. Thrust Plus Combat Pack. Combat Pack? Is that right? I guess there's a different version of it. A Combat back Pack version of it. Um, uh, for that, he designed the packaging and I added the driving controller to the controls. To have full control, this is this one was combined with a foot pedal, which was part of that edition. Uh, so the driving controller, you do need the foot pedal. Um, if I remember correctly, it also added a second button support for the booster grip and a pause button, uh, buggy for PAL, just for that release. This started a long and not so nice story, because Jawfish did not deliver many of the prepaid packages for many, many months. Uh, I even organized a lawyer to get the already produced packages, poser again, or the money from him. This blocked me from developing for quite some time. Fortunately, in the end, everybody got his edition or money back, including me. 
And finally asked Paul Slocum of Marble Craze, which we played last episode, uh, if he can make help me with the sound of the game. He created a very cool title track and redesigned a lot of the other sounds too. This became the current final Platinum Edition, which we're playing. So it has really good music in the intro and really good sounds too, mm -hmm. like for the, the sound of the ship. Quite sharp. Dying. Yeah. yeah. Um, over the years, I've silently fixed a fuel rollover bug and added save key support. So we do have um, the Atari, uh, the Atari Vox Plus plugged in, so your top scores will be saved. Yeah, terrible. Um, so I'm going to let you read out the instructions. Sure. I'll just bring that up. So this is the music. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah, it's very unusual. All right, instructions. The whole thing, or? Yeah. The game and playing the game? Well, we need to know what it's about. No, no, no. I mean, like, yeah. the you ah. haven't covered any of that. Yet. I have yeah. not talked about any okay. of that. Okay, because I wasn't paying attention to ah. what you said at all. <laughs> oh, okay, that's why you're asking. I was getting, getting upset at uh, my poor performance. You just go smoosh really quickly. <laughs> ah, it's laughing no, at me. It's, it's hard, it's hard. Uh, the game, The Resistance, is about to la launch a major offensive against the Intergalactic Empire. In preparation for this, they have captured several battle-grade starships, starships, my goodness, uh, but they lack the essential power sources for these formidable craft. Clistron Pods. You have been commissioned by the Resistance to steal these pods from what? the Empire's storage planets. Each planet is defended by a battery of limpet guns powered by a nuclear nuclear power plant. By firing shots at the power plant, the long um, the guns can be temporarily disabled. The more shots fired at the nuclear reactor, the longer the guns will take to recharge. But beware, if you fire too many shots at the reactor, it will become critical, giving you just ten seconds to clear uh, clear the planet before it is destroyed. Level two. If you have not already re retrieved the pod stored at the planet, then you will have failed the mission. If you have retrieved the pod then, and you manage to send the reactor into its critical phase and leave the planet safely, you will receive a hefty bonus. So you're finding the pod? What does the pod look like? It's a round thing. Oh, okay. Further into the Empire system, you will encounter planets with reverse gravity and something even more deadly. Reverse gravity? No! Yeah. Playing the game, you can control your ship with the standard joystick left, rotate ship anti-clockwise, right, rotate it clockwise, fire, fire, and thrust while joystick is down. Fire, fire. So if you push the joystick down and hit fire, you thrust? No, you don't. Oh, yeah, you do. You do. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it easier. Interesting. Up is thrust, down, activate tractor beams, external shields. Oh, come on! Uh. Select, select game variation, reset, abort game. The Omega Booster Grip buttons are also supported. Trigger is fire, booster is thrust. I don't know what Omega Booster Grip buttons are, so... Uh, it's an add-on that gives you a second button. Oh, cool! Um, use the right difficulty switch to adjust colors for NTSC or PAL TVs. To collect a Clistron uh, pod, hover just above the pod, activate the tractor beam, and thrust away from the pod. When the automatic tow bar has fixed to the pod, you can deactivate the tractor beam. Damn it. Too fast. To collect fuel, hover above a fuel cell and activate the tractor beam. It's the hovering that's difficult. It is. And the problem is, once you get the little pod, it becomes something that can destroy you as well. So if you smash it into anything, you're dead too. Up, 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 up. Go, go, go! Safe! Yay. It's very cool. As you go up into the sky, there's little colored stars. I know, that's nice. You I like blink. that. Scoring. Destroying Olympic oh, gun. Bye, Mighty Funster. Have a good <laughs> sleep. See ya! Um, destroying Olympic gun. Um, Olympet. Olympet. Uh, 750 points, destroying a fuel cell, 150 points, picking up a fuel cell, 300 points. Bonus for mission completion varies accordingly. Bonus for destroying planet, mission bonus, and 2,000 points. 
Yeah. Mission failure, no bonus. <laughs> that is not surprising. Okay, I've killed everything here. Gonna go get the fuel. Thrust includes five game variations. Oh. Press the game select switch until the number appears on the very left of the score display. So there's normal, expert, and rookie. Oh god. Okay, well I guess we're on normal. I hope so. Could have mm. got extra fuel. <laughs> oh come on! Oh come on! Your tractor beam is only straight down, so you have to be. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm surprised that hasn't happened. Probably have to get really close. Like fall. Oh, oh, you it got it. It be the exact right oh, distance. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, no, okay. Straight up. I find just grabbing it is the hardest part. Getting it out is not too bad. <gasps> no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <gasps> oh, so close. Seriously. <gasps> so close. You start off with the same amount of fuel as before. There's no extra fuel. Oh no. That's terrible. Oh, I got it right away. Let's get it Showing improvement. Challenging. Shows improvement. Challenging. When you open the door, it's getting very hard. Yeah, huh? cats? I'm gonna get some more wine. Okay. And bug, I'll bug the cats. Uh, don't bug the cats, please. <laughs> One of them is behaving. Oh, level three. Oh, cool breeze. Oh, the, the studio lights make it so hot. Okay, fuel right away here. Okay, right over. Might as well get the fuel. There we go. At least it's not reverse gravity yet. I'm guessing I'm going into this pit. No lives left, which is just wonderful. Oh, enemies near. Okay. Got a him. Got him. Ooh, more fuel. Maybe I should get the fuel right now. Okay, I'm getting a little low. There we go. More fuel. Descent more. Wow. They are really scared of you not having enough fuel. Must be a very long cavern. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to die. Going to die. There's too many enemies. I have to kill that one. I cannot be transporting something. Oh, I can't believe I did it. Oh, did I get an extra life? Sweet. That's exactly what I need right now. Oh my god, I might have able to do it. Oh, I don't think you can get fuel while you're transporting things. Uh oh. Well, luckily, I think I have enough. Damn it! Oh! They don't start you from the beginning. Yeah, I need a fan in here, except. Oh, that's not a bad idea, having a fan. Well, we do have a, a window we can open, too, which would be perfect. Because a fan would make noise. Not too much noise, but enough that would be noise. Okay, cat. This game needs requires massive concentration. What is going on? Why is what is happening? The gravity seems so weird with this in this level. Or it's I'm like attracted to the wall. What is happening? Uh, uh, Struggling. Yeah, the ball is attracted to the wall. It's a magnet or something. That's terrible! Oh no! Oh, this level's so hard! <laughs> Mission 3. Hi. No. Oh, Go. Geez, this is turn again. Not gonna Did you be... finish the instructions? Did you finish the instructions? Um. No. <laughs> uh, yes, I did for the most part. I mean, I, I didn't go into the differences of the... Can you start at a different level? I don't think so.
So, first we lose five the game variations. Uh, number one, planets. Planets one through six, planets three through eight. So you can start at number three. So we might start there again. Well, you can. Oh, I see. I should probably pass mission one first. Yeah. Like, there's. You don't even have to go down a cavern. You can do this. No, I, I can't. <laughs> I believe in you. I just have a hard time. I start thrusting a little too much in one direction, and then it's all over. Your and hair boom. blowing in the wind would add extra production value. <sighs> uh, I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, maybe in the summer. I don't know. Did we have a fan? We did have some fans in the summer when we were doing that. Oh, when it got game. really hot. Yeah. yeah, when it got hot, yeah. Because with the door open, the window open, it still was not cool enough in the summer. Because every all the lights were on then, and it gets hot in the winter. Uh, Thrust is a bit ga uh, based on the classic C64 game, which was sold by Firebird in 1985, thanks to Jeremy C. Smith, who made the original. The game would not be possible without the valuable support of the members of Stella List, the Atari 2600 <laughs> programmer's mailing list which is what predated um, uh, Atari Age's forum. That's what people used to um, talk through. And I remember Stella List from a long time. I don't know why I was... Maybe probably when I was looking for... Looking for game and emulators and stuff like that in the, in the late 90s. Yeah, because Atari was one of the easiest systems to emulate on really slow PCs because it didn't take up much uh, processor time. So let's read about the special edition version. In 2002, Atari Age released 50 copies of Thrust Plus special edition that included a foot pedal. Thomas Yentz and Jawfish have teamed up to produce the Thrust Plus special edition. This limited edition of Thrust includes a customized foot pedal that allows you to take over three functions from the connected joystick. In Thrust Plus, it is used to control the engine. A unique hand-numbered 1 through 50 label, a custom-made box with the new Thrust illustrations, a booklet containing the instructions and game development history, and a bonus sticker. And um, somebody said that they did have Ground Troop had a source for the foot pedal version it says but it's in Europe and the shipping is killer because the box is so big yeah Do you have a source for just the foot pedal itself or the actual special edition of the whole game uh, Rena foot says hoping Thomas can hack this game to work on the portable um, maybe I don't know if he would you rather him do that or work on a new game I think I'd rather him work on what game was he working on recently? Stacks or Robot City? Yeah, he needs to finish Robot City. It's like 99%. So close. That needs to be put on cartridge. Uh, so, what other info do I have on this? Uh, let's read about it in the store. So this, the whole thing, Ground Trooper, wow. That's very tempting, man. Come on, you can't do mission one? No. You can do it. <laughs> it's to it's do the it. control. I hate just these kinds of games. Stay pointed up and just vary to the left. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get, get my brain around the thrusting downwards because I think that actually helps. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you have something. to take them out immediately. That's the first thing you have to do. Resistance, let's see. The Resistance is about to launch a major offensive against the Intergalactic... I think you read that. I read all of that. Okay. <laughs> um, about throughout Thrust Plus Platinum. So that's this version. Uh, Zype? 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 Is that anything? I don't think I've ever said it out loud. Zype? X-Y-P-E. Uh, Grand Trooper says, I sold some of my devil, so I had some extra PayPal money. I just sent him, sent a PM to do, try and do the deal. Awesome. Uh, Zype programmers Thomas Yance and Paul Slocum have joined up forces to create Thrust Plus Platinum, an updated a version of Thomas Yance's Atari 2600 port of the Commodore 64 Classic, which itself took cues from the Atari coin-op game Gravatar. So it all comes back around to the Atari. Thrust Plus Platinum is now enhanced with a great title theme. Listen to it here. Composed by Rob Hubbard. Oh, nice. Who created the original theme for the Commodore 64 version. I, I never played um, Thrust on the Commodore 64. You probably didn't play this either. No. 
Never saw this game. I'm not. I've never been a big There's... fan of this style of game where you're you're using a thruster to kind of control. So. No, I always found it very I... difficult. But this it one's not difficult. as bad. Well, I think you probably had a bit more pl practice with it. A touch, because I was doing some testing for Thomas. Um, several audio enhancements have been added as well, bringing further polish to what was a one of the finest homebrew on the 2600. Additionally, a new label and manual have been designed by David Exton, Exton, which has been who has been the creative force behind the hard work, artwork racing many popular. It's about time. <laughs> oh, you did it! It's about time. Yay! Yeah. High five. <laughs> Sideways high five. Um, Thrust Plus Platinum is the latest iteration. Oh, thank you so much for that. Fans of Gravatar will feel right at home with Thrust Plus Platinum, and this is a sophisticated and challenging game for the 2600. Challenging for sure. Epics backwards. Oh, uh, that's what it is. Jeez. How come I didn't get that? Epics made some of the best Commodore 64 games. They're uh, an Epics, I think, made Impossible Mission. Is that correct? Remember Epics their did. name? Yes. Yeah, yeah, and they made all the summer games. They're really good at making uh, character animation and mm. smooth. Yeah. Yeah, Epics definitely did uh, Impossible Mission. Oh, there's a bad cat over there. Ah. Uh, Died right away. I'm gonna die again. Oh. Because I want lives for level three. Yeah. He can't get up there if he's gonna jump. Up. Why not? Because all the equipment. Yeah, he'll just walk across it. Uh huh. It's not your it's not your uh, soundboard like he usually does. Oh, so. everybody can see him now. <laughs> being a bad cat. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, Pixel. <laughs> bad, bad cat. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Everybody see Pixel? Oh my god! <laughs> Not you. He's on the edge. He's on the edge there. There he is. Now he's walking across the 2600. <sighs> Don't flip any of the switches. Unless it's reset. <laughs> so I already died, so that would be okay. I think they're still getting used to the new um, room oh, setup. Oh, they need to explore it. Yeah. Those Good things. job. Uh, they're the power stations, and I think you can shoot them. I, I and you can make one. them go into critical mode or something. If you shoot them enough? I think so. At least that's what I took from the instructions. Mm. But Because um, they don't seem to bother you. They don't bug you. No, but I think if you if you shoot them, um, the uh, the turrets or whatever they are will stop shooting you. So, if I'm, oh, Yeah, really? so, so the, the smoke has stopped. Damn it. So yes. I think it will actually stop some of the turrets from shooting. In the interim. Oh, that would for be some period of time. At least very, that's what it no, said. And then, it, yeah, ten seconds, I think. It yeah. Was. And that's now, not, and now, and now the smoke's coming back out of them. Yeah, so I guess while well, it's that's off. not long enough. It takes me that long to get down here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's kind of my tactic. Is kind of point in that direction. Well, I just find I over, I overturn, I overturn, and then it's like pff, it's all over. So. That's it. Cat is up to no good. He's fine. There's no room in those shelves. Better not. Pick. He's fine. He's not fine. He He's is. a bad cat. <laughs> Sniffing your water right now. But... No, it's my water. <laughs> oh, so uh, close. Ah, oh, stop drifting away. No! so hard. The thing is a magnet to the walls. You just have to take it straight up. Not this one. Uh, the next level. Oh, level three. This one's okay. This one's fine. <sighs> to complete, I only have one life. I think you got extra life at 10,000 or something. I don't know. Is I that... did get an extra life the last time I played. If I shoot that, mm -hmm. you only like, get ten seconds. It's not enough time to even bother. <sighs> Damn it! Right on the corner. Is that it? No. It's like jamming your knee in the 
side of a coffee table. <laughs> Just on the edge. I it's extra painful. That if you don't get these fuel, you can't get them on the way up because you're carrying the thing. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. So you might as well get all the fuel. It seems the there does sometimes seem to be a bit of a delay. Sometimes you pick it up right away, and sometimes it, it seems to struggle a bit. Which? That. Which? Yeah, like sometimes it gets it right away, and sometimes... Mm. What? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, jeez. Ah. Oh! oh! I just got an extra life. 10,100. That was very lucky. I doubt I'll be able to. Where am I? Oh, it, oh, it sent me died. back quite a bit. Did it? Yeah. There we go. And that is a shield. Out? Read Message, out. Please. Uh, RC70, you've got some space on the screen for a kitty cam feed. It'll be fun if we could see the studio from their perspective. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, that, that would be too. funny. That would be. It would be Pixel constantly walking across the soundboard. Yep. Um, and licking um, James's water. So. <laughs> okay, got it. Got left. lots of fuel. Why did you leave? Kitties. Don't bring them back. Oh, come on. They're so sweet. They're trouble. I know they're trouble, but they're so sweet. Oh, stop it. Oh. oh. Good score, though. so hard <laughs> no you play you play i'm not okay. doing very well so it, it it's more interesting now. to watch you play it because you get a little bit further what this isn't level three is it or it is yeah it is. yeah it okay. is. good now i can practice level three yeah there you go so i don't want to go through level one and two all the time when it's three that i'm having trouble with There's, it's definitely any, a more complicated level, so. Yeah. Any hints from the crowd? <laughs> oh, oh, that oh. was not what I wanted to do at all. So much fun. The bad. opposite of what I wanted to do. Getting a little better at shooting the enemies. I know there's one over here. Mm -hmm. Can't shoot them unless they're on the screen. Oh, let's get the feel on what? Remember, you have a shield, so when you do oh. that, you, that is a shield if they shoot at you. That. Yeah. Oh, well, that. See, that's something I've been missing. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I, I tried to mention that before, but yeah, it is a shield. If you're not picking something up, it does create a shield. So that's gonna help. A lot. Oh. If I use it. If you use it. <laughs> no shooting at the time, so yeah. I was a bit distracted. Yeah. Oh. They say. <laughs> Arena Foot says GoPro on Pixel. Yeah, I've seen them where you can yeah. get collars and you can hang them around their necks and you can watch where your cat goes they're if they're streaming. an outdoor cat. They're not streaming though. No, 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 but you pick up the footage afterwards. That would be amazing. Uh, yeah. If it was a stream. How cam. would you make that work? I don't know. It would have to stream over what? Wi Fi? I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I uh, bet there are. And Arena Foot was just noticing your score. Uh, easily yeah. frustrating game, yes. Oh my I God, agree. what it is, is happening? Game. It's, it gets heavy or magnetized or something. So you need more thrust. It's heavier. Maybe the green ones are more heavy. What is going on? It has a weird gravity. Oh, it does. It's like the gravity is crazy. Yeah, it has a weird it's gravity. It's so annoying. Oh, I have to be right over it. Last life. I think you just have to, to you just have Look to Look at it. It's pulling me to the you side. You have to plow forward the whole time. <gasps> How do you do you do that even? That's crazy. It is. I have to pass level three. It's eight levels. <laughs> it's crazy. Come on. There should be a continuum in this ah. game. So much fuel. 
Well, this is kind of a continue. You're allowed to start at level oh, 3. Oh, yeah. No, that's true. They that's can't true. give you too much. You do have to earn your, earn your levels earn your a little fuel. bit. Earn your fuel. <laughs> yeah. That is a dangerous one. <laughs> Shooting downwards. You can't. Fuel first. Yeah, I'm getting a I little low on fuel. Definitely get that one. See, there. sometimes it's like boom, immediate. I don't oh. know. Hooray for physics! Yeah, Yay. but it's unexplained physics. I have no idea what this ball is doing. <laughs> it's like attracted to. It seems to be attracted to the I walls. I think you just have to. Oh! Don't pick it up um, while you're going down. Yeah, By you have way, to everyone. pick it up as you're thrusting upwards almost. Yes, as you're kind of turning around upwards. Pressing down and hitting the button at the same time. Yeah. But then if you miss it, you're like going way up. Okay, Mr. Green Ball, stop going toward the walls. I think the thing. Look, look, look! Ah! He's pulling! He doesn't seem to have any pattern to it. Maybe it's like a ball full of liquid, so the physics are all insane. Um, like, I'm keeping it pretty, trying to keep it steady. But you want to move, like you're you're not moving upwards. It's well, crazy. It's heavy. It's yeah. Heavy ball. Oh, this is This is good. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Oh, ah. oh, oh my oh. god, he kept. Wow. The continue is pretty good. Yeah. Just go up, go up, go up. Power! Power! Oh. <laughs> level four! Yay, Yay level four! <laughs> Mission one complete. Well, I guess so. <laughs> okay. Planet set nuts says, There you go. Thrust yeah. harder. Yeah. <laughs> Filth. That's Dar Darcy would say. Filth. <laughs> One last chance to even look at this level. Yay, I get to look at it some more before I die. Oh, that one's in a difficult spot. Oh my god. Shield, shield, shield. <laughs> that one's gonna shoot at me. Oh, it's gonna be two shots. Yeah, they're pretty aggressive. Oh, ah, ah! Oh, what? Is, what? Where am I? Skipped you over. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, I just got 10,000 points again. Did you? Just. <gasps> Don't lose it. Just Get got 10,000. That is so funny. Yeah, I do need it. I have no idea where I am now. Like a trans do I like get tra teleported with that? What? Yeah, you must. Maybe where if you shoot am it. I? Oh, what? Yeah, you're you're where you were before. Oh, I'm supposed to go through there. Are you? Somehow. I don't yeah, because this try is, shooting it. So I went past that. Maybe the wall will explode. Yes. Ha ah. ha! See buttons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is this is not a. Ooh. Oh my gosh! So you're gonna have to shoot that on your way back out? That's insane. Yep. I am. <laughs> Oh, just barely survived I don't survived know how that. you... Do you have to shoot? Can you shoot? Yeah, yeah you can shoot. So this ball is not weird. It looks weird. Not acting weird. No, it's kind of normal. It's not getting not like trouble. the other one. Which is, obviously have to get it doesn't shut, does it? I think it, it does. Like... <sighs> oh! I knew it! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Amazing game. Uh, yeah, Splendid Nut says smashed. Yes, that listen was Listen to the music for a second. That's really good music. Mm -hmm. Some of the best music on the Atari, that's for sure. Good stuff. Okay. Let's get it going without the sound. Weird sound. There we go. Okay, that is a great game. Very challenging. You need a lot of practice to play that game, that's for yeah. sure. Definitely the Yeah, Wink the Dot says physics? tough but looks great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the physics of it take a bit of getting used to. Yeah. But good, all the same. I'm so excited. Very good. For pinball. Okay. What's next? Pinball! Yay! So this game is... Let me go to my Alien Pinball by Wink Dot, Woo! who's in the chat right now. Uh, Ed Riley, a.k.a. Wink Dot, a 2015 work in progress. So it was never done, abandoned in 2015. Mm. Oh, Wink Dot, why abandon? <laughs> anyway. Um, so the first... Uh, First, it was first posted February 13th, 2015. This mm -hmm. build is August 24th, 2015. Um, other games by Wink Dot, uh, Cows, Doom Patrol, Orb, we've played Orb, Shark Jaws Plus, we've played that, mm -hmm. and The Deep, which we have not played. Mm -hmm. um, as we said before, this is the only homebrew pinball ever made for nice. the 2600. Nice. So very cool, Wink Dot. Good job of making <laughs> the only homebrew pinball, and I hope... There will be many more because pinball is a fun game. It is. Um, oh, wait. I have to go back to the title screen. I didn't switch it over. Or change the graphic. Nope. No, I was just going to die. Oh, well, whatever. That works too. Okay. Switch the graphics. There we go. There's the graphics. Alien that pinball excellent. with a bouncing pinball. Mm -hmm. That has slow, slows of down and speeds up and bounces mm -hmm. all over the place um and the other original uh pinball games in the original run are were um atari pinball i've written down here but it's not called video it's video pinball midnight magic and bumper bash wink dot says i sort of considered it finished came to an end of the line i think oh. okay um so this so he posted originally on february 13th 2015 he says i just love pinball I currently have eight pins at the house. Wow, you have wow, eight pinball games. Wow, jealous. That's amazing. I was looking at his the chat instead of you. Nice. Well, that's okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Line count issues. <laughs> it went black. It's broken. Wink dot. We may not... Fix it. We now may not be able to play this game for very long. That's okay. We can make it work. crashed my Atari. <laughs> Actually, it didn't crash the Atari. It crashed my digital video output because it has no idea what to do with 271 lines all of a sudden. Frame from 262. Frame Meister? Frame Meister and, the, and or the television. Mm. Um, so I thought, hmm, I need to try out DC, D, DCP Plus Kernel for the next 2600 project and pinball should be easy. Yeah, right, he says. After much work and compromise, Alien Pinball is what came out. Now, I've come to the conclusion that this will never play like real pinball. Uh, I tried all sorts of ball physics. I do have the latest version. Um, this build is from August 24th, 2015. It was the last one that... No, you have to turn it off. Completely off. Yep, there you go. <laughs> my pink back <laughs> <laughs> but you're small in the corner that's true <laughs> um i don't know if okay just be... press it and wait point eight is that the newest version zero eight it's the newest one in the thread that i could find okay um so please let me know if that is not the latest version and maybe we can mm -hmm. uh load up the latest version um yeah sorry point eight yeah okay you just need to make make sure the a b switch lets you use both paddles what do you mean oh you're using both paddles yeah yeah she's good 
You can so do one both. side or the other. Sorry. One side or the other, or both. Or both, yeah. Then it's all good. Yeah, no, no, it looks good. Um, left switch on B, easy game. Left switch on A, harder. So we're on easy right now. Are we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still not doing that well, but that's okay. So yeah, the the way the balls bounce is, you know, that's really weird. The way the ball bounces is is crazy, and he says, and I guess that speaks yeah, to his, him saying the physics is out of control. <laughs> mm. um, oh, he doesn't see them both. Oh, you you need to make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second, Wink Dot. If you're not, set it to 60 frames a second. If you're watching on a television that doesn't support it, or a... It hits, it hits the paddle goes and then right goes it. right back to the... No, it just goes back to the opening screen. There's some bugs. Yeah, that's okay. That's I okay. still like the concept of it. I think it looks good. Yep. Those um, are like little alien eyes. Yeah. And there's little aliens that go through in the city at the bottom. Very cool. But the screen is bouncing a bit, and we have had some crashes. I mean, this is, for the most part, it's working fine. There have been a couple little... So if it, the switch is on A, gravity is more of a factor. Ball behavior is different. Joystick up for both flippers is disabled. So you're on the easy one. Oh, if when, So when it's on, on the hard, hard one, you can only do one or the other. Not gotcha. both at the same time. Wall hits are slightly different. The tilt is more sensitive. Oh, are you hitting tilt? Am I? I guess down is tilt or the button is tilt. There's a tilt? Maybe. There is a tilt. It doesn't say what... Uh, mm. Where is tilt? Pull back in the spring. Push up. Nudging. Hold the fire button up, down, left, or right. Oh, so you can tilt this, the, uh, the board up, down, left, or right with holding the button and moving in a direction. That's cool. Uh, I guess I need to try it on the new Stella. Oh, it died! It mm. died! You want to give it a try? Yep. So reset it for me, please. Yeah. You can continue. Oh! oh. You okay? Yep. Continue on with... Oh, you're pressing... That's okay. Which one? Chrome? The bottom one. Yep. So continue on with um, scoring at the bottom there. Spaceship bumper point values, 100, 200, or 300, depending on their level. Um, the moving spaceship bumper when stationary is 5,000. Oh. Hitting the right button will freeze the moving spaceship for a time. Ugh, only While the balls? ship is stationary, the value is 5,000. Spinner value, 50, 100, 150, 300. Score depends on the level. Whoa, epic crash. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen a yellow <laughs> screen. No, that's, that's a cool. New one. Uh, top rollover button value five hundred per hit plus a thousand bonus points. After going over the rollover button at the top of the play field, it will award a bonus point of one thousand. The maximum bonus points held are ten. There is an indicator for the number of bonus points displayed. Bonus points are awarded at the end of a ball. The rollover button when hit will disappear, but can be put back in play by hitting the right wall button. Oh, I see. Ah, okay, I can see the button. Yeah. And now it's gone, so I have to hit the button again to get that. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's no game over, it just goes to the title mm -hmm. screen. That's funny. It's very abrupt. Once you get five bonus points, bonus values are doubled. Once you get ten bonus points are tripled. Ah. Mothership pylon value, a thousand. Yellow screen of death, Mr. Fix says, yes. Yeah, yellow screen of death <laughs> is a new that. one. Yeah. I have never seen that before. Oh, 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 cat in a box. Cat just jumped in a box. Ah, died. Okay. It's kind of random. It doesn't seem to die at any specific spot. Oh, is he on the screen? Yes, he is. There he is. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that is adorable. Oh, there is a game over screen. Oh, it's dying on the game over screen. Oh. So the, or it's skipping it. I just had one ball there and it went straight to dead. Oh, I didn't stand the box for very long. That's okay. It's not really a box cat. No, he did get in it. He doesn't Died always again. get in them. It's a perfect size box for him though. Wink dot, you need to fix it. <laughs> fix it. Yeah, download the new Estella. It's much more accurate. That. And watch your line count. That's 
That's really weird. Where it just just dies. It just goes right back to the start After screen. After one ball. You know what I'm finding is it's hitting one of the paddles and it just goes boom right back. Like right. it's not it's not going through the paddle. It's just hitting it and then going back. So. Like I don't mind the random weird bouncing. No, it, it's kind of it, different. It doesn't necessarily feel too too crazy. I find the the the, but, the uh, gutters on both sides really cheap. <laughs> I don't like those gutters. The gutters. On the left and the right? Yeah, but it has, I haven't seen it go down a gutter yet. It doesn't really go down the gutters. No? No. Oh, See, it just bounces it around. Do I always dive from going down the middle? Yeah. Okay. Or it, it just resets to the main screen. Yeah. Space ship bumper and spinner values are increased by hitting both pylons on the middle spaceship. When okay. both are hit, a ship is dispatched there, to protect the down. pylons. It does go down. Okay. Um, it's actually playing for a while. From additional ah. hits. Hi, buddy. Yeah, we're going to to be quick on the quick on the ball to get the scores because it just resets. Sorry. The ship must be destroyed in order to hit additional pylons. For every successful completion of the pylon destruction, an indicator w will appear below the ship. Um, up to four indicators will be shown. On the fifth destruction of the pylons, all bumper and spinner values increase. The play field will slightly change, and the ship bumper colors will change. Death. One more. One more round. I've not placed a way to earn an extra ball yet. I'm thinking around 2,000... Uh, 200,000 points, but 200, we'll 000. see why, uh, what you th folks think would be a fair point value. Probably. I think I got up to yeah. 25 or 30. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. It will sometimes hit the edge of the flipper. Yeah. There, one down the gutter. But it's pretty rare, but the, the problem is you can't do anything about it. Like, you can't... No. It's random. Like, you just die because it went in the wrong spot. But that is pinball. You can die if it goes in the wrong spot. That's very true. <laughs> it's not always up to your skill. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Instant death. Yes. But I like the concept mm -hmm. and the look of this and the colors and having to shoot moving aliens mm -hmm. and destroy that little ship in the middle and reset bumpers and stuff. I, I, I enjoy pinball games. Oh, we went to, um, they had a pinball expo in Vancouver, not a huge one. But it was we, fairly sizable, but it got um, busy. It was super busy, and they actually had a pinball uh, tournament. Yeah, that and you it couldn't go into. Packed, just packed with people. Yeah. Uh, so it was quite popular. Um, what was it but called? But it's fun. Uh, I, don't remember. I think it was just Vancouver Pinball Expo or something uh, like that. It had a quirky name. I don't know, but um, no, it was good, and it was free play, and you could just pay and get in. Yeah. It was. Um, and they had all the. Oh, there we go. There you okay, go. we're done with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would really love to see an updated version mm -hmm. that doesn't like that you can continue playing um, because it has some really great ideas in there. Yeah. And I, I think uh, and I don't eat, I don't mind the non physics. No, like, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I mean, it feels like a lot of games, even like pong and games like that, where yeah, it, it, there feels like there's a little randomness in the movement. So. So now we're going to play the final game of the night. Sync. Which is Sync, and it is a rhythm game. That's not right. What did you pick? <laughs> the bin. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, you just loaded it up, so I know you have it. This one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Please work. Okay. There we go. That was just some fluky thing. Yeah. Now, everybody out there has to let me know if this sound is making your their ears bleed, because it is a very piercing game. Like, the sound in the game is relentless and high-pitched and piercing. Okay. So, please, out there, let me know. Yeah. If it's too you loud, turn it down a or not loud enough, or anything, just please let me know. I know it's brutal. Um, so this is Sync, uh, put out in 2006. It's a compilation mm -hmm. of mini games um, made by Simone Sarah, aka Simo. Uh, understand, but I just ran into a Stella Zero problem. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's good you can see that there is issues with yeah. uh, when playing but it, on Stella. It's still, it's still pretty fun. Like, oh, yeah, I think it's you can really see, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not uh, um, Stella, complaining. Um, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Simo's other games include Moth, Pitch and Catch, Palomino, Palomino we played, mm -hmm. Dot we played, mm -hmm. uh, Lead we played, and Omnicron we played. So I have now put Moth and Pitch and Catch on my list of games to play in the future. Mm -hmm. Pitch and Catch looks like a football game, so good luck to me <laughs> <laughs> on that one. I know nothing about football, so but maybe it's an alteration that is more video gamey mm -hmm. that I can understand. Arena Fud might have to help me with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first, this was first posted November 4th, 2006, and this build is from November 10th, 2006, uh, six days later. Um, so you can start the first one. Um, you have to press in the direction of the arrow. There you go. Too slow. Too slow. Hmm? You have to keep doing it. There you go. Too slow. I, I feel like it's... No, I'm hitting it. It's not... What is it doing? Am I doing it in time? No, you just have to do it quick. Anyway, I will read the instructions off, because... Uh, well, you have to tell me the instructions, because obviously I'm... Press in the direction. Okay. As quick as you can. Right, no. up, you didn't, left. You, but you didn't, you didn't... But I am, and there's a delay. Weird. It's there's a on. delay, I'm hitting it. There you go. Is it a joystick? Or... I don't know. I'm hitting okay. it, you can hear me hit it, so... Because hmm. you did get it once. You yeah. got two in a row. It's like Simon says, Sync is an Atari box game too. Is it? What? Okay. Um, title uh, based on suggestion from Nathan Strum. I believe it's synchronization, but it was shortened to Sync. Sync is a collection of four simple games. Uh, select a game by pressing up, down, and fire to start it. On the bottom of the screen is displayed the high score for the certain currently selected game. Oh, uh, so it keeps the high scores. Pressing reset while on the title screen starts to select a game. Pressing reset while playing a game brings you back to the title screen. This one's called Jitter. Press up, down, left, right, and fire according to the symbol currently highlighted. If you act correctly within the time limit, the next symbol in the sequence begin highlighting. To score points, you need to complete a sequence of symbols. The longer the sequence, the more points you score. Once completed, the sequence is removed from the screen. The game ends when the entire screen is filled with symbols. That's it. And I was playing this briefly on the computer to um, test it out. <laughs> and I Maybe was... I'm just not hitting it fast enough. Oh, you so go. you're going much faster. Oh, you have to be fast. Come well, on. Well, no, you're not really... <laughs> you didn't really explain that. I need to know the speed. Yeah, it's not a, a timing game. Well, no, because I was, I was trying to do oh. it in succession with a certain beat, so... Because like, you were giving me, happening? you were giving me the sense that it was. I'm somehow timing it with the music. Oh no 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 no! So I'm like, I don't understand what's, what's going oh. on. Oh, I was like, you are pressing it. What is happening? Yeah, like I'm not pressing it fast enough, which is fine, but. Oops. But yeah, it's like you're hitting it multiple times. It's not disappearing. Oh, I see. You're doing one, two. Yeah, what were you doing? Well, no, I just, I wasn't quite sure what was going on. You're following it in succession based on what's showing up next. It's going, it's going in succession. You have to press what's flashing. That's it. Yes, but what's next to it comes next. Yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. See, your screen is filling uh, up because you have to go downside. Like, you have to follow the succession of the, of the... But this, this one you have to be really fast because I'm on, like, a higher level. No, but I understand what you want to do. I, I could not figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> ah. The problem is when you're... Oh. Ah. Mm. ah. Oh, too slow. Yeah. I'm going to try it <laughs> Repeat the patterns game. Oh, for high scores, yes, just for high scores. Oh, oh my goodness. 
Yeah, it's very sensitive to you pressing the wrong one too early. Like if you, <laughs> if you press the wrong one and it flows over to the next one, you've already pressed the wrong one. Yeah. There you go. And if it and if it picks one at the beginning of, of a long sequence, you have to do that whole sequence perfectly to get rid of everything. If you mess up even one, you don't get any of them. Ah, so close. But I hit it. This is what's confusing. It's it's like <laughs> Yep, as was stated, just like Simon Mr. Frick says. Hey! just really sensitive to movements. And you have to be super quick. Hey! What score did I get, Arena Foot? Oh no! Lost to the ages. Yay! Yeah, if you get too far behind, No, you're if you're really too slow, screwed. it's not about getting too far behind, it's... It, so weird. I'm hitting it. It's like I'm not hitting it. It's not starting. Oh, 45. Thank you, Ice Posta. I'm, I'm still hitting it in succession, but I'm obviously not hitting it fast enough. So weird. That's 45 so weird. tied my score. Yeah. Or is that my score? I don't know. Zero. Nope, that was me. jumps in so fast at this level that it's very easy to not complete it. Like, if you don't hit it immediately when it flashes up on the screen and start, yes. it builds up. Yeah. It carries... See this? This is where it gets oh. crazy, and it's like you're trying to... There you go. Good job. I want to explain. No, see, you didn't get the last one. And I'm sure you hit it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. You keep interrupting me. Yeah. No, I what were you say something. Say? <laughs> that... If you are doing something in succession and you accidentally press something wrong, and then you press the next thing wrong as well, like I just did there. It just skips it. Yeah. It, it remembers the wrong thing you did and applies it to the, to the next, next thing, one. Yeah, and it's that's true. why it seemed like I did it again. Yeah. Ah. But like, it's it it's applying it and it's applying it to the next one, even though. There's been a, a, a space, which is weird, so you automatically fail in the next uh, turn. Almost. Yeah, you have to be very careful. Yeah, and if you're not fast enough. But at this level, it's hard. It's just hard. It gets faster, uh, I think. It does. Wait. Come on! Yes! Yay! Yes! Ooh, good job! The problem is getting behind. So screwed if you get yeah. behind because you have to do so many. Ah! <laughs> it's frustrating. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Oh! Sixty-four? Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay, so am I still playing Jitter or are we moving on to Flow? Depends what you want. I'm I don't done. Know. I'm done. I, I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> the next one I couldn't figure out from just looking at it. I have no idea. Okay, let me explain it. Okay. <laughs> so place red sticks on the grid when the number of red sticks in a cell is equal to the number of blue sticks of a nearby cell, the blue cell is cleared and you get a point. While a CPU cursor runs continuously across the grid, the number of blue sticks in any cell increases. If you clear all the blue cells before the CPU cursor reaches the end of the grid, you get bonus points. Okay. So obviously the board is constantly changing. Okay. And you have to anticipate how many will, how be, many there. will be there or how many are there, depending on where it's filling it in. Um, game ends when at least one cell is occupied by four blue sticks, and the CPU cursor reaches the end of the grid. So it keeps adding blue sticks. Press up, down, left, right, select a cell, fire to put a red stick in a cell. So you have to match the ones beside it. So there's a zero, and a zero beside that one. So now you put one red at the top, and there's zero and zero. You have to get down to what? The, you have to get oh, I'm here! Oh my gosh! <laughs> so you have I get to it. get over to the blue ones and start matching. So I'm the, the light side. blue. I'm the light blue. You're... Yeah, you're the light. There you go. Oh wow, it's fast and crazy. Almost three, to four. I'm almost dead. And dead. <laughs> no, but like I am getting it. Yeah, you're. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, I get it. Clear that four. Dead. Oh, that's interesting. Well, it's quick. It's very that's quick. Super quick. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh my god. Oh, and you can't. You can't add it to those cells that don't have it. Where am I? I can't yeah, this is part of the problem. <laughs> you can't see yourself because there's so many colors on the mm -hmm. screen. 19? Mm -hmm. What did I get? You got 19. I got 19. Maybe you did too. I don't know. Mm, don't think so. No, you did pretty well. So the, the key is... And then it resets get... itself every once in a while, which I find mildly confusing. So you want the yellow to get to the bottom without something imploding. It's hard to tell where the the cyan cursor is. Um, yeah, I just lost it. What did I get? 35? 35. That's that's really good. It's so hard. It builds up so fast. <laughs> where am I? Where did I go? I disappeared. Ten. <laughs> that was terrible. I need what to... you want, What you want to do is get combos of things. Like get in between two of them. Oh, ah. one more. There you go. Just. Oh. oh, I didn't quite hit four. I wish the score didn't disappear. As soon as you die, it goes. No. Nope. What's your score? Don't know. Disappeared. Oh, four's already built up. What? What? Ah! Ah! Quick. Oh, just in time. Oh. oh. Eight. We well, have to look at that it. That was really terrible. Quick. Arena Foot's work's cut out for him today. <laughs> He's not even keeping up. It's too fast. I think he's just going for anybody that gets a new high score. Oh, man. That is challenging. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long you can sustain a game in this. It's so fast. So it doesn't do diagonals, it's only straight across, up or down. Oh, I, my, my, my forearm is killing me from Hello. smacking that uh, This is not button. the best joystick. Oh, man. <laughs> no, no, it's good. No, no, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. It bothers me. I don't like that joystick. I'm like, there's something about that, because uh, I think you're using your middle finger, right? Yeah, that's how you build yeah. up your forearm, is playing games like that. <laughs> This is a way better joystick. I'm mm -hmm. already behind. Where am I? Let's try this again. Oops. 
Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> One. Turn down 35 the game. 35 is very good. It's too much now. Turn oh. down the game music. Okay. Yeah, it gets in your ear. Gets in your ear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is much better. When it resets, that's when it's hard to... And the thing is, if you're somewhere where there's... They, they suddenly shove a blue piece in, on top of you. You're like, why why is nothing showing up? You know? Why yeah. is there no red showing up? This is very 58. cool. I really... Oh, jeez. It's, uh... Oh, my God, that's hard. It's all about putting them in between. But you don't have to do it precisely. You can't bypass it. As soon as you hit four, it'll go boom and kill it. So you can go tap, 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 and kill it Jeez. immediately. I'm like, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know where I am anymore. That's what happens. <laughs> I'm going to try something. Try the next one? or I'm going to try with the mega fire on. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, mm -hmm. got to turn it up. Mm -mm. I don't think that helps much. <laughs> I just... Mm. Oh, I put one where it was. I find I just lose track of where, where the cursor is. Yeah, it's really hard to remember or to see it. I like the randomness of it, though. Like, oh, where it starts the, the blue blocks is, is completely random, so you don't know where you're going to end up. Ah. And sometimes you have to kind of clear a path for yourself. Yeah, you do. Ah. <sighs> is a really good score. I went so hard. This game is so, it's probably one of the shortest 2600 games Where am I? I've ever played. Where am I? Uh, so the original ah. post was, hi everyone. Sync is a compilation of four simple games that I have already presented here in one way or another. I think it's a good alternative to Moth, since it's a way less user manual oriented and it's a lot more colorful and noisy, that's for sure. I've included a Word document that illustrates the games and explains their rules. Hope you have fun with this. Thanks to Nathan Strum for suggesting synchronicity in a previous thread, I've cut it to sync. Here's an update of the binary, and it says, at Nathan and read up Bobby, thanks for the feedback. Here's an updated binary. Whenever the game ends, there's a second of delay return before returning to the over screen. It needs to be a little bit longer. Mm. Needs to pause. Can I try the next one? Yep. Kay. Good luck figuring that out. What is it? Oh my god. Uh, we'll get to the instructions in a second. Uh, fix the timing issue. Da 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 da. Oh, the other thing. It's not very interesting. Okay, gate. A sequence of blue symbols is displayed in the right column. Match those symbols by selecting the same symbols and placing them in the red column on the left. When two symbols match, the blue ones flash. Press fire to remove the matching symbols and score points. You can remove more than one symbol at the same time. If you manage to remove every symbol in the right column, you get a bonus point. There's a, there's a little cursor at the right of the blue column when it reaches the bottom of the screen. The blue column has completed a rotation. You have two complete rotations before new symbols appear in the blue column. 
During the first rotation, the boundaries of the screen will be colored in red. During the second rotation, they'll be colored in blue. Uh, game ends when the blue column completes two rotations, and there's not enough space for the new symbols. Press up and down to select a position on the left column, press left and right to select a symbol to place the currently selected position. Ugh. This is really hard. <laughs> um... Oh, good night, Wink Dot! He says he'll try and figure out the pinball issues, has run fine in many emulators. Flashback 9, <laughs> Rectron 77. I uh, never saw it do this. I don't have a harmony cart though, oh, so it might be very difficult. Mm. Um, the first thing to look for, you can do Alt-L and look at the line count, and if that ever strays from 242, that's a problem. You have to make sure it's stuck on 242 all the time. Yes, but great pinball, lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? You go left and right, so that's that one. No, 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 you have to... That's that one. If you hit fire, no, because it changes. So you have to hit fire to clear them on the on the right. Oh, so you, that's yeah. it? Yeah, but you have to pick the right symbol and then clear them. Oh, okay. It's really... I don't know. <laughs> I... 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 You pick the symbol and you clear it as it passes by. Okay, so there's a plus. So you pick a plus, and then when it passes by, you clear it. Okay. And then... And there's that, and that. But you have to clear it. Oh, yeah, you so you can do row, two though. in a row. Okay, that does help. Nope. But then it clears it, angle which makes it mean you have to start all over again, which is... Angle to the left and angle to the right. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it, it'll, it adds more every time it, <laughs> it goes through. But you've got five. You've beaten me already. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's crazy. And then a triangle up. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Seven. <laughs> yeah, good job. Angle Seven to is the good. Right. Then an H. Oh, wrong H. Damn it. Yeah, exactly. And a thing down, but you can keep building if you there miss you it. There you go. Yeah, that's true. And another one of those. Oh, I did it too quick. And to the left, to the right. Good job. And, uh, Plus. H and a down. To the right. Oh my god. You can't keep up though. No, well you've done better than I have. It's it's challenging. How how do you keep up? It goes too fast to keep up, I think. Yeah. Well obviously not. Somebody can play this game. Well, maybe you just don't get a very high score, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a challenging game. Oh my god. It's really, I don't, I don't know. know. Love, Love it, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite, it's quite the game. I mean, it makes sense now, but it's just so hard. You clear them out as they come by. Do you go for combos? Yeah. But look at that, now there's seven all, all of a sudden. You've barely been able to put three on the board. What is that dot? Is that when it adds, I guess? And should you take the opportunity when it comes up to clear it out if it's flashing? Or should you just... Oh, it's four in a row. There you go. Yeah. So it adds one every time the little blue dot goes past. Wow. Uh, let's see. When it reaches the bottom, the blue co com column is completed for rotation. You have two complete rotations before new symbols appear. Okay. <laughs> so it's red on the first rotation, then blue is ah! when it adds it. Keep going fast. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> Could have picked any one of those. Oh, I knows? think if you've if you if you've like memorized. Yeah, that's that's challenging for sure. That's interesting we'll do though. One more. It's an interesting game. It I mean, it's hard and it's fast. You, Plus, you're done. Right. You're done very quickly. H. Well, I think if you've down. played it enough, you mem you'll memorize the sequence and then you'll get better at it. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. I have to hit three times to Plus. get this. I have to hit four times to get that, H. and then you would get better at it. But H. oh my Oops. goodness. H H. No, because it's the wrong H. H. Up. What? Because well, your H, H is the wrong H. Oh my god, there's two H's. Or they're not even yeah, H's. Yeah, there. They're like I's. I's and H's, yeah. And I'm gonna be dead. 
Yeah. You did very well when you hit 15. That's a very, very, very good. Yeah. Woo! Right, right, right. There H, you go. H. Uh, Get it. There you go. F I plus. Oops. Another plus. And up. Plus. At least it doesn't randomize them every time it updates. Yeah. Well, that's that'd be impossible. Up H. Wrong H. <laughs> and another up. Uh, oh well. You could still clear them out even. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, 17. You beat your last score. Good job. And I'm gonna die. It, I just panic after a while. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! Hit the button! One 19. of them will hit. Good job. Check the different... Diff it, d it never mentioned the instructions about uh, difficulty switches, because maybe because there should be an easy where it's a lot slower, but there's nothing about difficulty switches here at all. I mean, I can set them to A, see if it slows down, but I don't think so. Usually, it's on B, which is the default easy, which I don't know why they ever meant made B the easy version, but they did. This doesn't seem to be going any slower, but usually when you restart is when it reads the, the difficulty switches. Wrong H's. Oh ah! no, he moved it away. <laughs> Ten. Oh, that was terrible. So I've set it to A. Let's see if it's any slower. Advanced? No, it's. A is advanced. B is beginner? <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> is it on advanced? No, no, no. No, it was on beginner. Okay. I was just setting to yeah, A. Yeah, look at them all. Yeah. I'm just gonna die. But I mean, really great oh, representation. I like it because like it it's simple and fast. It's I, a fast game. I think you know? if the person was still around, which they haven't been on the the Atari boards in four years, yeah, I would suggest to slow this down and then ramp it up. Yeah. Or yeah. have the difficulty switches so that A yeah. starts there. Yeah. And B starts way slower. Yeah. So because then you have at least a chance to play well, it for a little bit. I think you need to get used to the symbols come in a specific order. So yes. the more you play, the more you know what order each symbol is. Yes. Like this is three buttons to this, four buttons. And like I said, it's not even if a you chance. practiced it, yeah. you would know what is what. You go so. this, 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 this. I have no idea what this is. What am I controlling? Okay, so this is called here. Okay. Stop the arrows on the colored regions to score points. But watch out, the width of the regions decreases as time passes. Oh my gosh. The game ends if you stop an arrow outside of its colored region, or if the width of the color region becomes null. So this is a reaction game. Oh. And you died. Woo. And you have one life. Oh, and they decrease, just constantly decrease get smaller so you have to be quick oh, my oh. God. five points oh, that's not very good <laughs> <laughs> damn it yeah it's it's <sighs> oh, good oh, eight. eight points mm -hmm. there you go Ooh, it gets really tough on the way down. This reminds me of Wall Jump Ninja. Because <laughs> the holes get smaller and smaller in Wall Jump Ninja as you try and pass your way through them. Oh no, you're wasting time. Now you're dead. Uh, yeah, seven? Seven, you can do it. Oh. Really no time to waste. You have to do it every time it passes. First chance you get. Oh, oh you did it! <gasps> did it! Keep going! Oh. Quick! Don't stop! Ah. <laughs> I panicked! <laughs> Go ahead! I didn't make it to the end though. Ten. I didn't realize. I thought it would start back up at the top, so that uh. threw me for a loop. Right. 
Ah. Oh, good job. Starts at the bottom. Remember that. That oh, messed me up. 11. <laughs> what did you get? 10. Oh, okay. I, I, screwed, I, I messed it up the moment it restarted, so it's good to know. Oh, it's Press double. What's double? You're not going Sweet. down by one, you're going down by two now. You're going up by two. Ooh, 17. 17! Good! Oof. Oh, so they're not even going back and forth. Sorry. Ah! What was going up by two? It was the same as before. Was it? Yeah. I'm just going up instead of down. I just kept pressing down accidentally. Ah, yeah, that was a bad start. One more. One more. <laughs> See if you can beat your 17. I don't know about that. Wow. That's a fun game. It's definitely a reaction game. Yes. When you see that arrow turn red, it's it's that mental, it's red, it's red. <laughs> it's very cool. Oh, it's really, really small there. Thank you. In the groove. In the groove. Oh, oh it was 38. Great. Woo! Good job. I retire on that one. one more <laughs> I'm for good. You. No, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'd say that a high note. Yeah. is probably my favorite with yeah, the second to this, this one. This one, I, yeah, not so good. Need some practice on that one. <laughs> yeah. That... Uh, flow was hard. What was gate again? Gate was... Oh, oh yeah, that was no. It's too fast. It's too fast. Way um, too fast. I like the last one. Yeah, the out that of the one, four. That yeah. one, which is just reaction Boom. time. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that one's good. Mm -hmm. And flow was that. That one's so fast. It's so fast, but it is actually kind of fun. It I, is. I actually think it's a little bit more crazy. Um, yeah, it's really crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> I do like that. A great, uh, great little collection of mini games. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, different people might like different ones for different reasons, but uh, yeah, no, very. I think that's we very. Pretty cool. much agreed on which ones we liked. Yeah, yeah I kind of like. I know. I know the the sound in the background is a little repetitive, but there's something about it that's I, I I enjoy it actually. I think it's fun. It's meditative almost. It's like doodle yeah. doodle. It's like yeah. almost chimes. It feels like matrixy, like <laughs> stuff falling down the screen. You know. Like, yes. Uh, yeah, I like that. That's um, good. So the games today. Thrust. I know you had a lot of difficulty with no, it. No, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that style of game. Like Asteroids I played that before in the vector-based games, and that's yes. never been a favorite of mine. Neither it has. Uh, it hasn't I'm not been saying it's either. a bad game, but it's not a game that that style of gameplay. I'm. I've never been a big fan of. But I'm not but, great at those games either. No. That's probably the best I've ever done at that style yeah. of game. It's called a lunar lander. Yeah. Um, genre of games where yes. there's turning so, and thrusting. I grew up in Ottawa, Ontario, and we had the Museum of Science and Technology. And in, there's a wing of it where they have like um, lunar landers and they have all this space memorabilia. And yeah. um, there's a section of it where they have a lunar lander game and you play oh. <laughs> and you try to land the... Um, what do you call it? That little lunar module, module on lunar the module? moon. Yeah. And I always think of that when I see thrust games because you, <laughs> you use the thrust to bring it slowly down onto um, a landing pad. Yes. And, yeah. and it's vector based. Yeah. And I played that game when I was a child. So obviously this is an old game that they've had there. Yes. And it's in one of those wonderful fiberglass, oh, round, those, yeah. shiny fiberglass it's modules. Free wood. Yeah, and that's yeah. what those thrust games always remind me of. Um, well, that's is where they that came game. from, is Lunar Lander. And yeah. there was like little small ones and bigger ones, platforms to land on. Yes, and, and you avoid gravities. asteroids or something, I can't different remember. Different gravities. And, you have to and maneuver. the landscape is all over the place, yeah. and uh, it's I believe it's still there in that museum. Wow! Um, in the space gallery that they have, um, yeah, very but appropriate. That's always what those thr thrust games remind me of. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm not great at them, but I think it, it depends on how much you play them. I mean, yeah. they they have a very specific kind of gravity, and and it depends yeah. on the controls. I think a foot pedal and would be a little easier. And the driving control would be yeah. the best way, but I don't have an Atari foot battle. And I, I, I want to say that this is the first time I've played these games, whereas you might have tried them a little bit. In the first. That much. Yeah. That much. But That's it gives it. you a little bit of an edge over me. <laughs> yeah. Not that I'm competitive or anything. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you're seeing me adjust to the, to that but I mean, uh, you, you did pass the first level finally which is good yeah yeah you did progress it's it's it up. is challenging um what was the second game second was alien pinball and that was, uh, that was a lot fun. of fun i like I, pinball games yeah, yeah. I, like real pinball games are fun mm -hmm. and but video pinball games are, are really fun too because yeah. you can push the limit a lot more yeah with virtual ones do things that you can't do in real ones yeah. like crazy gravity well, or different ways balls move and bounce well, like this one is totally different does not obey the laws of physics yeah and like uh, and you were talking about what was it midnight madness or whatever midnight magic Min midnight magic and we're, i remember playing the, on the commodore 64 oh, yeah, we played that and i lot. really like that pinball yeah. game that yeah. that virtual pinball Ball game was really good, and this one was good too. Yeah, yep. a little bit of crashing, a few bugs in there, but <laughs> but Wink Dot looks like he's gonna look at it, yeah, and no, maybe fix it up cool. and put out a, a new version. Yeah, very cool. That's yeah. very good. Yeah, and of course, uh, Sync by Simo. Uh, um, oh, oh, very good. All of them usual, are very fun, good. and and they're challenging. But yeah. again, I can see how with repeated play you would get better at them you know yes jumping in on them playing them it's for like, the first time <laughs> it's like oh my Panic god time. uh but yeah getting into the rhythm of them that's I think all that's get how better. all yeah. their games are all of simo's games oh really they're all like, rhythm games what is happening no yeah. like really simple concept yeah but very difficult yeah to master i don't hate those games and those are really... the kind of games you just keep playing and playing and playing until you yeah, get until you get good at them they're so. like the addictive type of games yeah 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 um, so, this is the last episode before we start to get into the Atari Awards. Cool. Because next episode, mm -hmm. we are going to be, one, revealing... The nominees. The nominees for every category. Are we playing the nominees? And two, 
playing the nominees. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to be playing the best homebrew games of 2018. Excellent. And going through all of them. Okay. Um, until we've gone through all of them. Okay. So that we can play them, and also everybody out there um, gets a sense of the games as well. So it might help people um, vote on the games. Okay. Um, so that they... Maybe they don't have time to play them. Maybe they can skip through and just look at us playing them. Mm -hmm. um, we may not be able to play all of them because some only have only cartridge releases and I don't have the cart. Mm -hmm. So in the case of those, um, we will play some video footage of, of them because most who, that don't have cartridge releases or that mm -hmm. do have cartridge releases and no, um, what do they call it instead of? ROMs. Anyway, ROMs. Um, binaries. Binaries. <laughs> that don't have public binaries. Yeah. Um, we'll just play the video for okay. us. So that will be fine. Yeah. And Arena Foot is still working on instructions while writing the 2018 book. Ah, yeah. very cool. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's what's happening mm -hmm. um, for at least two episodes. And it totally depends on how much coinciding of all the different games there are. Okay. Because there's ten categories. So there's a potential of 10 different games in each category. Mm -hmm. But for sure, there's going to be some crossover. It's like the best graphics. The game with the best graphics is probably going to be up for an award for best game, too. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some crossover. So it's not going to be 100 separate games, but it's not going to be 10 games. But that's the range that we're working within. <laughs> so I don't know how many episodes okay. of best of homebrew there will be. Oh, as much? Best of 2018. Okay. But I will figure it out in at least two episodes, okay. for sure. Cool. And we won't be playing, like, extended versions mm -hmm. of each of the game. But we'll be playing enough that people can see it. And we've played most of these already. So we won't be noobs at them, <laughs> at least. Or some, some people might. Cause, yeah, uh, well, I haven't played every game you've played. So there right. may be some games Darcy that... hasn't played some of the games we'll yeah. be playing. And Erwin hasn't been. Because there's so... three co-hosts, so it's yeah. mix and match. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, but I have cool. played most of them or all of them, so at least I'll know what the hell's going on. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll be playing them and not really going through them too deeply. We'll just be doing a surface kind of thing. Um, and that's what's happening for the next little while. Yeah. So, yeah, next Wednesday. Actually, this Sunday is when the nominee nominations are done and we add them all up. And then on the Wednesday is when we release them and the voting starts. Mm -hmm. And the voting ends near the middle of February. I can't remember when it exactly ends. It's on it's on the Atari Age forums. And then the show, the big award show, is on February 23rd. Excellent. With all the hosts. Mm -hmm. And that'll be lots of fun. And the cats. They'll Yay, be dressed up in cats. bow ties, we, hopefully. Well, well, we'll figure out we'll what try. they're going to be dressed up in. Yeah. We'll figure something out. So thanks for tuning in, thanks. everybody. Impromptu show Sunday for the awards. Mm -hmm. Sunday. Which Sunday? Well, whenever you do this the awards. This Sunday? Not this coming Sunday, but no. And the February Sunday 23rd. Is yeah. a is it's a, a Sunday. Saturday. Oh. I don't know why it'd be a Sunday for the awards. No, it'd be Wednesday. Saturday. We have, well, I have no time to set up a show like instantly as soon as all the... <laughs> All the nominees are in. It's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I have, to have time to add them up, yeah. write them all out, plan out shows. Yeah. You think this is easy, Arena Foot? Yeah. <laughs> I make it look easy. Yeah. But I, have to I do can a tell lot you of he's, research. He's doing a lot of research. Um, <laughs> look things and, up. And we need to buy dresses and outfits to wear. Oh, that's so. for February. Yeah. 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 In yeah. February. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in <laughs> once again. And uh, we'll be back on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. Pacific time. 2 p.m. Eastern Time Excellent. and whatever time in with Europe. A, with Ireland, right? With Ireland. Yes. And then Friday Excellent. should be Darcy at noon. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. And 3 Eastern. 3 yeah. p.m. Eastern. So thank you. La, 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 la. Oh, he says no, no for, the, for the beginning of the nominees. No, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, not for the beginning of the nominees. I can't do it on the same day the last person hands in. Mm -hmm. They're, uh, anyway, that's not for anybody else. That's for Arena Foot's just trying to get me to do extra shows so yeah. thanks for everybody for tuning in arena foot splendid nut wink, wink dot, dot mr fix mr fix i supposed to yeah oh, this is not good there we go yeah uh who else was chatting uh, ground, ground trooper, trooper. Uh, oh rc70 rc70 yeah mm, 
Muddy Funster, and anybody else that we missed. I think that's a good group. Oh, and Split and Nuts said thank yes. you. You're so welcome. <laughs> and uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and Twitch and YouTube as well mm -hmm. um, to keep up with everything. And we will see you next week. Yeah. Bye-bye.